Eraka. Blessings, love, peace, love, and blessings. Yeshua. Yeshua is the Messiah. Um, I was going to do a video today on the uh, on Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments of the Lord. <clears throat> but um, that's going to have to be the next one. Because the Lord just gave me Isaiah 5, Yeshua 5. And um, it just so happens that this goes along with the video on Isaiah 30. Do not go down to Egypt video. This is in connection. Um, it was about a week ago, early September. So look for that video. Um, go to my profile. Click on albums. Click videos. And... Um, <clears throat> Or you can Facebook search. I'll um, actually, I'll actually just um, put the link in the comments. I'll do that. <clears throat> to I'm trying to simplify this whole process. Um, keep me in your prayers. I'm still afflicted. Um, I'm trying to keep up with the words of the Lord and sharing them and reading them and also um, blessing Yehudim Yisrael with the Hebrew. Of all of the word of the Lord, okay? So, um, this is in, co in connection with the Isaiah 30 video. I will put the link in the comments. And, um, it also is going to be connected to, uh, Exodus 20, about the Ten Commandments. Commandments of the Lord, okay? What we need to adhere to and obey and take heed to the commandments of the Lord the laws the laws of God or the law of God <clears throat> so I'm gonna read um, this first section verses 1 through 7 then I'll read the Hebrew and then I'll read the next section okay and then I'll read the Hebrew there I'm doing it that way because this is only seven verses and um, I feel led to do it that way. So let's continue. Um, let's say a quick prayer. Baruch Atah Adonai Elohenu Melech HaOlam Melech Olamim Yeshua HaMashiach Lechem Haim Maim Haim HaShamayim Aman Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of all the universe, King of everlasting, salvation you are our messiah our savior you are the bread of life from heaven you are the waters of life from heaven truly truly it is true and we believe aman amen isaiah yeshaya 5 god's disappointing vineyard okay god's disappointing vineyard the lord is disappointed when we rebel when we do not follow his law, the Lord is disappointed. He is grieved. For he desires his people to obey and to live set apart, to live holy, to live in obedience, not to be wild children. Okay? So God is disappointed in us when we are wild children. Verse 1. Now let me sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved regarding his vineyard my well beloved has a vineyard on a very fruitful hill he dug it up and cleared out its stones and planted it with the choice he and planted it with the choicest vine okay he dug it up and cleared out its stones <clears throat> cleaned up the rocks then he planted it with the other of the best vines in the vineyard. He built a tower in its midst and also made a wine press in it. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes. It looked so good. The vineyard looked like the others of the choicest vines. Like the best of them. Like the Church of Revelation 3 in Laodicea. 
so prosperous, so blessed in this life, receive much, much tithes, much offering, constantly building onto their church buildings. It looks very good and very fruitful. So he expected it to bring forth good grapes. But it brought forth wild grapes. And now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, judge, please, between me and my vineyard. <clears throat> what more could have been done to my vineyard? What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done it? What more could I have done for these wild grapes that I have not done it already? God has provided everything. He has provided salvation. He has provided the spirit of Yeshua, the Holy Spirit. Ruach HaKodesh, the spirit of holiness, to be a power and a comforter and a helper to overcome the enemy, to overcome evil, to overcome unholy alliances, to break packs with Satan and Satanists and Lucifer's people. <clears throat> What more could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done it? Why then, when I expected it to bring forth good grapes, did it bring forth wild grapes? And now, please tell me, you, what will I do to my vineyard? I will take away its hedge, and it shall be burned, and break down its wall, and it shall be trampled. I will lay it to waste, and it shall not be pruned or dug, but there shall come up briars and thorns, and it also, I will also command the clouds, that they rain, no rain on it. Okay. Let's read verses 5 and 6 one more time. And now please tell me, and uh, please let me tell you what I will do to my vineyard. The vineyard that is producing wild grapes. Not the choicest ones as he thought. I will take away its hedge. I will take away the protection of that land. And it shall be burned. I will break down its walls. And it shall be trampled down. Remember Revelation 11? Do not measure the outer. For it shall be trampled by the Gentiles, the heathens, the unclean unbelievers. I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned or dug, but there shall come up briars and thorns, and I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain on it no rain will come to those vineyards or that vine no water from heaven will be upon that vine of wild grapes and I will again verse 5 I will take away its hedge and it shall be burned Okay, Ezekiel chapter 4 and 5 I will take away its hedge, and it shall be burned, and break down its wall, and it shall be trampled. <coughs> Ezekiel 4 and 5 prophecy confirmed. For the vineyard of the Lord, Yahweh Yehovah Sebaot, the Lord of heaven's armies, is the house of Yisrael. And the men of Judah are his pleasant plants. He looked for justice, but behold, there was oppression. For righteousness he looked, but behold, only cries for help. Okay, let's read those seven verses in the Hebrew.
Isaiah 5, verse 1. Ash, Ashira, Na, Lididi, Shirat, Dodi, Le Carmo, Kerem, Haya, Lididi, Bekeren, Ben, Shamen. Way, way, azekehu, way sakelehu, way yit tahehu, shorek, way yi ben, migdal, bitoko, way gam yekeb, haseb, bo, waka, la asot, anabim, way yaash, beushim. Where are ta, your worship, Yerushalayim, where ish, Yehuda, Shiptu, na beni, uben karmi, karmi, my vineyard. Ma la asot, od le karmi, welo. Asiti Bo Madua Kiweti La Asot Anabim Weyaash Beushim Weata Odia Na et Kem et Asher Ani Oshe Le karmi hase meshukato wehaya labeer paros paros gedero wahaya le mirmas <coughs> wa ashitehu bata lo Yiza mer welo ye ader we ala shamir we shayit we al he abim asawe mehamet mehamtir ala matar Ki kerem Yahava Yahova Sebaot Bet Yisrael Weish Yehuda Neta Saasusa Sa Saasua or Shaashua Weka Le Mishpat Wehine Mishpa Lizdaka Wehine Seaka Okay, verse 8 in the New King James. Again, this is uh, this connects with Isaiah 30, Yeshaya 30. Okay. Do not go down to Egypt. Egypt meaning bondage. Egypt meaning slavery, sins, mark of the beast, RFID chips, slavery. You are free from that in Yeshua. <coughs> there is freedom in Yeshua HaMashiach, Yehovah, Yehovah. Verse 8 of Isaiah 5. Woe to those who join house to house. They add field to field till there is no place where they may dwell alone in the midst of the land. In my hearing the in my hearing, the Lord of hosts, Sebaot, Lord of Heaven's armies, 
In my hearing, the Lord of heaven's armies, he said, Truly, many houses shall be desolate, great and beautiful ones, without inhabitants. For ten acres of vineyard shall yield one bath, and a homer of seed shall yield one ephah. Woe to those who rise early in the morning, that they may follow intoxicating drinks, who continue until nighttime, till wine inflames them. The harp and the strings, the tambourine and flutes, music, partying, and wine are in their feasts and parties and gatherings and assemblies, but they do not regard the work of Yahweh Yehovah the Lord. They are not regarding it in their hearts or their minds. They are not thinking that there is work to do for the Lord, nor do they consider the operation of His hands and the operation of what the hands of God are doing. What are the hands of God doing? Because if you are not gathering, then you are separating, you are scattering. Matthew 12 verse 30 New King James says He who is not with me said Yeshua He who is not with me is against me and he who does not gather with me scatters abroad <clears throat> Jeremiah 23 verse 1 Yerumiah Yahweh exalts and Yahweh is exalted and Yahweh exalts his anointed prophets English Standard Version woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture declares Yahweh Yehovah the Lord Jeremiah 12 <clears throat> verse 10 many rulers have destroyed my vineyard they have trodden my portion underfoot. They have made my pleasant portion a desolate wilderness. They have made it desolate, desolate. It mourns to me. The whole land is made desolate because no one takes it to heart. The plunderers have come on all the desolate heights in the wilderness. For the sword of the Lord Yahweh Yehovah shall devour from one end of the land to the other end of the land, no flesh shall have peace. They have sown wheat, but reaped thorns. They have put themselves in pain, but do not profit. They have put themselves to pain, but do not profit. But be ashamed of your harvest because of the fierce anger of the Lord Yahweh Yehovah. So we're going to read... Uh, 10 through 13 again in the Hebrew. Roim <clears throat> also means shepherds. Roi, the shepherds leading to the pasture. Yeshua Roi, Roi, Yeshua Roi, the false shepherds or the rulers also could be rulers in the land, leaders, rulers, false shepherds, or those who were supposed to lead and did not, Roim, Rabim, Shihatu, Karmi, Besosu, Bosesu et Helkati Natenu et Helkat Hemdati Lemirbar Shemama Shama Lishmama Abela Ale Shemema Nashama Kal Haaretz Ki en ish sham al leb al kol
שפעים במדבר באו שודדים כי הרב חרב יהבה יהובה אוקלה מקסה ארץ ועד כסה הארץ אין שלום לקהל בשר שראו היטים וכוסים כסרו נעלו לו יועילו ובושו מתה בועות תקם מהרון אפ יהבה יהובה אזיה ישעיה 3.14 The Lord will enter into judgment with the elders of his people and his princes, rulers. For you have eaten up the vineyard. The plunder of the poor is in your houses. Yehava Yehova Bemishfat Yabo Im Zikne Amo ושרה ואתם ביארתם הכרם גזלת העני בתתקם Verse 12 The harp and the strings, the tambourine and flute and wine are in their feasts But they do not regard the work of Yehovah, Yehovah the Lord, nor consider the operation of his hands. Therefore my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Therefore Sheol has enlarged itself, preparing itself for their souls. Unrepentant souls, Sheol is growing larger, and opens his mouth beyond measure. their glory and their multitude and their pomp of pride and he who is jubilant and rejoicing in wickedness shall descend into the pit Sheol people shall be brought down Numbers chapter 16 they were swallowed up the leaders and also it's mentioned in Numbers 26 Verse 9 and 10. The sons of Eliab were Nemuel, Dathan, and Abiram. These are the Th Dathan, Abiram representatives of the congregation who contended against Moshe and Aharon in the company of Korak when they contended against the Lord, Yahweh Yehovah, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up together with Korak when that company died when the fire devoured the rest that were 250 and they became a sign they became a sign why those who claim to be Christian should not rebel they should not be lukewarm in sin and wickedness and make excuses they should not trample the vineyards and they shall not grow up to be wild grapes <clears throat> but they should come to the Lord and offer up their sins to him with their repentant hearts and forsake their ways. People shall be brought down. Each man shall be humbled and the eyes of the lofty shall be humbled. But the Lord of hosts, Adonai Sebaot, shall be exalted in judgment. And God who is holy shall be hallowed in righteousness. He shall be known as holy by his people living in righteousness. Living in righteous ways with righteous attitudes and righteous hearts and an uprightness and actions and behavior. <clears throat> God who is holy shall be hallowed in righteousness. In our living 
living in His righteousness. We cannot have the righteousness of the Lord and be Zadakim. We cannot be the righteous ones and live as wild grapes. The righteous must live righteous. For He said, Be holy, for I am holy. For if you are the truly holy ones, Kadishim, if you are the true Kadishim, if you are the true saints, if you are the true holy ones, Kadishim, then you will live holy. If you are the true Zadakim, or Zedakim, if you are the true Zedakim, then you will live righteously. Verse 17. Then the lambs shall feed in their uh, then the lamb shall feed in their pasture. And in the waste places of the fat ones, strangers shall eat. <clears throat> Woe to those who draw iniquity of with cords of vanity. Woe to those who draw iniquity with cords of vanity. You want to see that word draw in the Hebrew? Isaiah 5.18 Woe to those who draw iniquity with cords of vanity. Okay, woe, meaning sorrows, disaster and sorrows. To those who draw, look at the Hebrew word there. Mosheke, Moshes, Mose. To draw, he was called Moses because he was drawn out of the water. To pull and to draw. Woe to those who pull and draw wickedness, iniquity, with cords attached to them. Of vanity. Having the appearance as if with a rope, cart, sin. Their sins and iniquity, they pull them. They pull them along. See? Emptiness, vanity, deceitfulness, <coughs> falsehood, being a hypocrite. Being vain is being a hypocrite. You're having the appearance of godliness, but not really living in godliness. And this is this has nothing to do with just us uh, or of stumbling. When we stumble into a sin, we confess our sins. He is faithful and just to forgive us. This doesn't say stumbling. This says, verse 18, Woe to those who draw, who draw their iniquity, wickedness, with cords of deceitfulness, vanity, deceitfully pulling, vanity, meaning having the appearance that they are true Jews, having the appearance that they are true Christians but sin as if they, they draw their sin with cords as if with a cart rope they're carting their sin with rope pulling it along with them and they say I'm saved by grace I'm covered by the blood of the lamb but they are not offering up their sins to the Lord okay joy to those whose rebellion is forgiven joy to the Lord Joy to those who the Lord has cleared of sin. Those who had offer up their sins as a sin offering. Sin offering. <clears throat> you must make a sin offering to the Lord. What is a sin offering? Offering your sins to the Lord. Not drawing your iniquity and wickedness with cords of vanity, deceitfully, and sin as with a cart rope that say let him make speed and hasten his work that we may see it and let the counsel of the Holy One of Israel draw near and come that we may know it and they're claiming that they're ready for Messiah <laughs> woe to those who call evil good this is what brought me to Isaiah 5. Okay. In verse 20, I was going to do the uh, Exodus. Exodus 20, the Ten Commandments, the Torah, the law of God, the law of the Lord. Okay. So what are they doing? 
in these days, the lukewarmers, the chipped beast worshippers, they cannot let go of their sin. They are drawing iniquity with cords of vanity and sin as if with a cart rope. They are lugging their sin around. They are not free. They have no freedom in Christ. They have no freedom in Mashiach, Yeshua. There is no freedom. They are still in bondage. Isaiah 30 said, Do not go down to Egypt. Remember the complainers in the desert, the wilderness, the rebellious that were just destroyed in Numbers 16 and Numbers 26? <coughs> they said, let us go back to Egypt. We had plenty of food there. It is better to give up their freedom, they said. Let us give up our freedom in the desert, that we may go back to bondage in Egypt, that we may have plenty of food. And the Lord gave them their fill. Okay. <clears throat> Psalm 78, verse 26, mentions it. He caused an east wind to blow in the heavens, and by his power, he brought the south wind. He also rained meat on them like the dust, feathered fowl like the sand of the seas, and he let them fall in the midst of their camp, all around their dwellings. So they ate and were well filled. For he gave them their own desire. They were not deprived of their craving. But while their food was still in their mouths, the wrath of God came against them and slew the stoutest of them and struck down the choice men of Israel. In spite of this, they still sinned and did not believe in his wondrous works. Therefore, their days he consumed in futility and their years in fear. <clears throat> so woe to those who call evil good and good evil. That's what's going on today. We are the wicked ones now. Those who refuse the RFID chip. Those who refuse the mark of the beast. Those who obey Yeshua HaMashiach. Now we are the, the ones of Satan and they call us evil and they are good. And they are beast worshippers. Craving whatever they desire. And the Lord gives it to them. And the Lord allows them. And while it is still in their mouths, they shall be consumed with fire from heaven and swallowed in Sheol, the pit of the earth. Woe to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe to those who are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. Woe to men mighty at the drinking wine. Woe to men valiant for mixing intoxicating drinks and witchcraft in the drinks, <clears throat> intoxicating us, who justify the wicked for a bribe, corruption. They justify them for a little bit of money, for a bribery or, or a favor, and take away justice from the righteous man. Let's read that in the Hebrew. Mazdike, as you can see, it's related to Zadik, one who is justified, one who is righteous. So they Mazdike, Rasha, the wicked, Bet Rasha, the house of the wicked, Mazdike, Rasha, Ekeb, Shohad, Wesidkat, Sarikim. Zadikim, the righteous man, or the righteous men. The Zadikim is actually plural. So it's not the righteous man, it's actually the righteous ones. Sadiq is a righteous man. Zadikim is plural. So the wicked for a bribe and just and keep justice from the righteous ones. 
All of us. Not just me. Zadi Kim. You too. Plural. The righteous men, the righteous ones, they take away justice from. Sadi Kim. You are Sadi Kim. You are justified. You are righteous in the sight of Yeshua HaMashiach. Yahava Yehovah. <clears throat> 24 therefore as the fire devours the stubble and the flame consumes the chaff so their roots will be as rottenness and their blossom will ascend like dust because they have rejected the law of the Lord of hosts Adonai Sebaot and despised the word of the Holy One the command of the Holy One in the Hebrew therefore the anger of Yahweh Yehovah is against his people who were his people but he has abandoned them because they have abandoned his law they have abandoned his Yeshua they do not live like Yeshua <clears throat> they do not live they do not even seek to try and live their hearts are hardened they are they are um, proud what's the word Pomp, they're pomp, they're pompous, proud. Therefore, the anger of the Lord is aroused against his people. He has stretched out his hand against them and stricken them, and the hills trembled. Their carcasses were as refuse in the midst of the streets. <coughs> For all this, his anger is not turned away, but his hand is stretched out still. He will lift up a banner to the nations from afar and will whistle to them from the end of the earth. Surely they shall come with speed, swiftly. No one will be weary or stumble among them. No one will slumber or sleep, nor will the belt of their loins be loosed, nor the strap of their sandals be broken. Whose arrows are sharp and all their bows bent. Their horses' hooves will seem like flint. Their wheels like a whirlwind. Their roaring will be like a lion. They will roar like young lions. Yes, they will roar and lay hold of the prey. They will carry it away safely. And no one will deliver them. And in that day, they will roar against them. Like the roaring of the sea. And if no one looks to the land, behold, darkness and sorrow, and the light is darkened by the clouds. Bless you. If you uh, tune off this video, the rest is going to be 8 through 30 in the Hebrew. Ho magie bayit bebayit shade beshade yakribu ar epes makom wehusatem lebadekem bekereb haretz Beazene Yahava Yehova Sebaot Im Lo Batim Rabim Lesham Yiyu Gedolim Wetobim Meen Yovoseb Ki Aseret Simde Kerem Yasu Bat Echat Wesera Homer Yase Epa 
Po, Mashkime, Baboker, Shekar, Yirdopu, Me, Me Ahare, Banesep, Yayin, Yarlikem. <coughs> Wehaya Kinor, Wanebel Top, Wehalil, Wayani, Wayayin, Mistehem, Wayayin, Mistehem, Weets, Paal, Poal, Yahava Yehova, Lo, Yabitu, Umase, Yada, Lo, Rau. <clears throat> Laken gala ami mi beli daat uke bodo mete raab wahamono sihe sama <clears throat> Laken hir hiba se o hir hi Hir Hiba Sheo Napsha Upaara Piha Libli Hok Weyarar Hadara Wahamona Useona Weales Weala Weales Ba Wayisha Adam Wayishpal Ish Weene Gebohim Tishpalna Wayigba Yahava Yehova Sebaot Bamishpat Weha El Hakadoosh Nikdash Bisdaka Werau Kebashim Kedabedam Weharebot Mehim Mehim Garim Yokelu Ho Mosheke Heawon Behab Le Hasha Wekaabot Hagala Hakta'a Ha or Ha Omerim Yemaher Yahisa Maashehu Lemaan Nire Weti Weti Kra Weti Krab Wetabo Wetaboa Asat Kedosh Yisrael Weneda <clears throat> Ho Haomerim Lara Tob Welatob Ra Shamim Choshek Leor Choshek Leor Weor Le Choshek Shami mar le matok u ma le mar. <coughs> Hearts full of darkness. Choshek le bab. Le bab ko choshek. Hearts full of darkness. <clears throat> Ho Hakamim Beenehem Weneged Penehem Nebonim Ho Giborim Listot Yayin Weanse Hayil Weanse Hayil Limsok Shekar 
מזדיקה, רשע, עקב, שוחד, וסיכת, סדיקים, יסירו ממנו, ממנו. לכן כאבחו קש, לשון אש, וחשש, להבא, ידפה, שרי שם, <coughs> קמק יהיה, ופירהם, קבק, יעלה כי מעשו את תורת יהב יהובה סבאות ואת אמרת קדוש ישראל נעשו על כן חרא אף יהב יהובה בעמו ויט ידו עלה ויקנו ויקהו וידכזו היהרים ותהי נבלתם קשוחה בקרב חוסות בקל סוט לא שב אפו ועוד ידו נטויה. <coughs> ונשה נס לגויים מרחוק וסרק לא מקסה הארץ והנה מהרה קל יבוא. אין עייף ואין כובשל בו לא ינום ולא ישן ולא ישן ולא נפתע אזור חלשה חלשה ולא ניתק שורוק, שרוק נעלה אשר היסה שנונים וקל קשטותה דרוקות פרסות סוסה קסר נחשבו נחשבו וגלגלה כסופה סאגה לא קלבי יישג ככפירים וינהום ויוחס ויוחס טרף ויפליט ואין משיל מסיל וינהום עלה ביום ההוא כנהמת ים וניבט לארץ והנה חושק שר ועור חשק באריפיה שלום ברק Shalom, Ahava, Beraka, peace, love, blessings. Let's pray. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Yeshua HaMashiach Lechem Chaim Maim HaShamayim Aman Amin.